Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? Today is a beautiful day because it's a, it's a beautiful day. It's pretty outside, but I haven't really been outside yet because I don't go outside during the day. I'm more of a night walker myself, more of a by the moonlight kind of guy, Um, but it looks pretty outside. Anyway, you guys, today we are gonna be doing our monthly, our first month of 2021 BoxyCharm unboxing. We got two bad boys here today. We got our premium and we got our base box. We got two boxes. We're gonna compete and see which box is better. Which box is worth the price. <laughs> Honestly, they're both worth the price to me. Honestly, truly, they're both worth it. Every single month I do this with BoxyCharm, and I do um, a partnership with them, and I show you guys what's the inside, the innards of the box itself. Because honestly, the box you guys buy, BoxyCharm, it's $25 a month, and you guys get full-size products, and the premium you guys can upgrade for $35 a month. And honestly, it's kind of sickening. It's kind of stunning. You guys have to admit, like honestly, if you're paying $25, and you get full-size goodies. <laughs> we love a full-size goodie. Mm -hmm. Sounds inappropriate. But anyway, you guys, today's video, we're going to be opening the box and we're gonna be testing out the products inside the box. Honestly, I'm really brutally honest about what I think about the products. I always think the boxes are worth it because truly like one product that's amazing will pay for the entire box, you know what I mean? So I truly think it's worth it, but we're gonna be testing out the entrails of the box today. So that's today's video is gonna be. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. But if you guys like unboxings, Looks like there's caca on here. If you guys like the gays. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you're new, what is the fuck up? It's fucking fun on this channel. We're fucking queers. <laughs> okay, so what I like to do first, pinchy first, is start off with the base books. We're gonna start off Ow. Next time you fucking put a hand on me, I'ma fucking rip your face off, bitch. First things first, base box, $25 a month for some full-size goodies. What? Let's, and we have our card. We have BoxyCharm Fresh Start. Baby, 2021, it's a fresh start. January? It's been rough in January, huh, so far. But it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better, I swear to God. Um, so we're gonna start off with this first. We have our first product. We have a Ciate London Velvet Eyeshadow Palette. Retails for 30 tool. Who's for thirty dollars? Some of this plastic, man. This is like a soft matte packaging, so it's kind of harder to open because it's so soft and matte. <laughs> okay, so we have the Ciate London palette. Oh wow. Okay, cool. So this is what it looks like. Honestly, one hundred percent not what I was expecting. To be quite honest, I wasn't expecting this at all. This color story, honestly. It's Actually really adorable, really fucking adorable. And like these shimmers look beautiful from the pan. Feels so soft, this is what they look like. They look honestly nice. We're gonna have to test them out. They're very smooth, very smooth. Doesn't seem super pigmented, but there's, that one's really chunky, but it's like a glitter. Huh, okay, so that bad boy retails for 30 dollars. Next you guys, we have a Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner. <sighs> I ran out of air for a second there. Honestly, Pharmacy has some Really nice stuff. I feel like they're in BoxyCharm a lot, but honestly, I really like pharmacy, so I'm totally down for it. We have a pore cleansing toner. Starting the year off fresh with the toner. Let's clear out these pores, bitch. I love a good BHA. I really do. Beta hydroxy acid. I don't know if that's what it sounds for, to be quite honest, but it sounds right. Stunning. This guy retails for $28. Next, we have the Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer. $35. LN number two. Baby, whenever we put like moisturizers in here, a tinted moisturizer, any kind of foundation type moment, it gets me a little nervous. <laughs> because, you know, it's like, is it gonna be my shade? But it's a tinted moisturizer, it's not like it needs to be. Honestly, I use tinted moisturizer as like a primer, so. That's what I think, that's good. 35 duelists. All in one brought, oh, and it has sunscreen in it. Come on, pure. Okay, um, next the Seraphine Botanicals Apple Balm Glow Up Mask. Okay, we have a little glow up mask right here. Oh, it's a lip mask. That means a lip mask. This looks really nice and rich. Okay, this guy retails for $25. Boost hydration and glow with protective lip mask. Formulated with shea butter, apricot, pure jojoba, and rosehip oils. Oh, it's like thin. Oh, 
It feels so nice. It smells pleasant, feels pleasant. It's pleasant! Okay, and then last but not least, you guys, we have the Bali Balm Coconut Lip, oh, another lip balm. This is for $33. Essential oils of sweet orange and coconut is from the brand Bali Balm. I've actually never heard of Bali Balm before, I'm not gonna lie. And this is what that guy looks like right here. Honestly, the branding is really cute. I'm liking the vibes, like the orange pops with the green. Bali Balm, sweet orange and coconut lip balm. I do think that for a lip balm, $33 is a little steep. Baby, that's a bit steep for me. A $33 lip balm, baby, is this La <laughs> I don't know about that, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm excited to try it though, but I just personally think it's a bit, it's a bit pricey. Let's go ahead and move on to the premium box. That was cute, that's a, that's some really nice like skincare-y stuff, which I was pretty impressed with. I do enjoy that there's like some like cute skincare-y moments in the base box this month. Mm. Ah! Ah! Okay, um, premium. premium. Premium is always like different from the base box, they always have different products, so we're gonna open up the premium and see, is the premium worth it? Honestly, it is, but is it a better box? I don't know. Okay, so first things first, we have the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask, $48, bitch. Okay guys, Summer Fridays is a very popular brand inside Sephora, and honestly, this mask will sell out forever. <gasps> bitch, this is sickening. The fact that this is in the premium box, like this is, That's actually very sickening. Like, I am very impressed with that. Okay, um, next, we have the Ofra Cosmetics Good To Go Mini Mix Palette. This guy retails for $39. And we have this mini mix palette right here. We have a highlighter, we have a bronzer. Honestly, these two are too dark for me. Like, I wouldn't use them. But the shadows look really nice, and the highlighter looks really nice, too. We'll definitely be using that. Look at that. Honestly, they're sh- bitch. Bitch! They're shimmers. Like, they don't play. The Ofra highlighters, you guys have to admit, they are so... They're stunning. That's nice, that's actually really cute. We'll see if it's worth the price though. 39 is a little steep. The mats feel nice too, wow. Honestly, I feel like Ofra's kind of stepped up their, their bussy with when it comes to the shadows because honestly, I used to really not like them at all. I used to think that they were not like a good formula. I just didn't enjoy them as much, but maybe they've like baked their mats and baked their shimmers now and they've created a better formula because this already feels 10 times better than like their previous formulas did. Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Retouch Setting Powder, 32 Duolas Retailer. We have our, okay, honestly, this powder is sickening. Okay, honestly, Miss Premium is slaying me right now. Oh, and the shade Butter, this is my shade. Guys, this powder is so good. It smells a little strong for me. It's a little strong of a powder, but it's so fucking bomb. Like, it actually works so well. And I have, like, I literally have this in my drawer. Maybe I should just use the one in my drawer and not, like, waste this one and maybe, like, do a giveaway with it, like, in, like, a little giveaway box. I think that's what I'll do. You guys, I love this powder. It's so bomb. Premium is not playing. Next, we have a Ren Clean Skin Care Perfect Canvas Jelly Oil Cleanser. We have a Jelly Oil Cleanser by Ren Clean Skin Care. And this guy retails for $32. It's a gorgeous Jelly Oil Cleanser. It's a peachy Jelly Oil Cleanser. You guys, try it later on. Then we have another Fenty product. Wow. Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. Dang, we have two Fenty products in today. Look at this. Stun. Is it the mascara? Honestly, I can't remember. I feel like I have used it before, but I honestly cannot remember what I think about it. We'll be using it today to see if it curls and lifts like it says it should. Retails for $24. And then we have, last but not least, the PMD Silver Pure Makeup Removing Cloth. This guy right here from PMD. It's basically a makeup remover cloth. You wet it, removes your makeup, that kind of thing. And this guy retails for $30. I do think that's a little pricey. But, Okay, you know what? Maybe there's something different. Okay, so l listen, listen. This might be $30 because. Get back to your pure self with Silver Pure. Remove makeup and wash your face with the antibacterial and anti-aging benefits of pure silver. So I'm assuming this actually is infused with silver. Like this cloth is infused with actual silver itself. Okay, so you know what? That's why it's a little more pricey. Cause I was like, baby, $30 for a cloth? Nah, <laughs> you got the wrong one. But if there's silver particles in here, I like it. Okay, cool, so guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use the goodies that we got. I mean, obviously I can't use all the things, like some of these things are skincare moments that I'm not gonna actually use like right here and right now. But the makeup stuff that we have here, I will be using it. And we're gonna test out and see what we think. What we think of them. Okay, this, honestly, but we can actually start off first with the Pure Tinted Moisturizer. Let's try it with that, let's start it off. Ooh, that looks like a lot of coverage. It's very liquidy, it's very liquidy, oh Lord. How, oh, I'm scared. We're gonna put this all over the skin. This honestly might not be my shade. <laughs> Casper, is that you? Okay, but do you guys see how it's like actually blending in really nicely? So the pigment honestly like pretty much disappeared. Like it's literally like gone. Like it's literally, be it just became a glowy moisturizer and gave me like the most subtlest 
babyest amount of coverage. Like, that's baby. But I bet this would actually be really nice for like a beach day on there. Especially because it has sunscreen in there. Honestly, it's pretty. My face is super glowy. I was a little scared in the beginning. <laughs> I was like, come on, Casper, is that you? Hi, sisters! But I think it makes my skin look really nice. It's very glowy. Uh, it has a, a baby amount of coverage, not a lot at all, but it looks cute. I'll be definitely using foundation on top of this, though. Because that's not what we're gonna start with. We're not stopping there. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna put some foundation on really quickly and some concealer and some blush bronzer. That's cute. That's cute. Okay, that's cute. I'm liking it. Oh my god, I just like literally created so much friction in my hand. I almost started a fire. Let's do this. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. We have some bronzer on. We have some blush on. I have cream bronzer and cream blush on. So I want to set the face with, of course, the Fenty Butter Powder. Pro Filter. In the shade butter. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take it on a wet beauty sponge, by the way. I set my under eyes already just a little bit, just cause maybe I was creasing. I was creasing, but I wanna show you guys like how honestly stunning the effect of the powder is. Like, look, you guys see, obviously there's a shine, duh. The powder will take away the shine. But I feel like it not only just takes away the shine, but it smooths out my skin and it like brightens as well. Like it's not super matte, but it brightens nicely. Where are my pores at? I've never seen a pore in my life. Come on, look at that. Look at that. Like it's so finely milled, so beautiful. It honestly is kind of shocking, like how stunning this powder is. Where are my pores? I don't know. It's divine, the powder is divine. I'm really, really happy and really shocked to see the powder inside Premium Box, and I'm so glad it is. Like genuinely, whoever gets that is like gonna be thrilled. So smooth. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay guys, so now we're gonna move on to the over product. What I'm gonna do is I'm honestly just gonna go like this and just fuck around with the whole thing. I'm just fucking around, man. I'm a, I'm a swirler, you know, I'm a swirling. So we're just gonna kind of see. Like honestly, sometimes I forget the Ofra's highlighters are so shockingly good and intense and just give you exactly what you're going for. Like I forget, you know, but they do it to me every time. They do it to me every time. By the way, you guys, if you guys want, I have a code with Ofra. You can use code Manny MUA. Um, if you guys want to save some coin with Ofra, if you guys want to like get anything else, but honestly, baby, baby, baby. And like, it's a smooth powder. It's not even like, it's like chunky, glittery. It's not, it's super smooth and baked. It's just, mm. Mm, it's just, it tastes good too. No, it doesn't, don't taste it, I've never tried it. But look at that, like when I look straight onto the camera, you don't see a cast on my face because it's so light, it, you don't. It literally just blends into my skin perfectly. By the way, if you guys can hear helicopters in the background, I'm so sorry. Apparently there was like a shooting um, close to me. I just got a ring alert and it's like, shooting happening here, da, 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 and I'm like, ma'am. I'm gonna go do my brows and prime my lids off camera so we can go in with some of the shadows. And then we'll start this mother back. Okay guys, so we are back, and the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. Back in the brows. I'll catch it one day. Anyway, you guys, the brows are filled, and honestly, they look kind of stunning today. I kind of like the fill. A really sharp under portion, but with a fluffy top. I love a fluffy top. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's move on to the eyes. I already primed, by the way. And we have two things that we're gonna kind of be moving back and forth with. We have the, of course, Ofre. Oh, for Lingi. This mint is just so random. And then we have this, of course, the Ciate one as well. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the transitions from here, because these look really, honestly, they look really nice and honestly, very promising. So we're gonna take a big old fluffy brush, taking this shade right here, not super powdery, picks up nicely. And we're gonna just put that into the crease very, just liberally. As we can see, just a, a super soft, Transition shade, not a lot of pigment. I mean, honestly, it's pigmented, but it's just not, for my shade, it's just barely showing up because I'm the same shade as it. <laughs> Cause I'm pale. It's like a satiny matte, by the way. It's not super matte. It's like a lifelike satin matte is what I'm getting from this formula from Ofra. But honestly, it's better than the last one. So I approve, dude. I 100% approve. But you guys see how there's like a, a subtle bit of sheen in there? Like it's super subtle, but it's there like a little bit. A lot of times what people, what brands will do is they'll add a bit of shimmer into their mattes to get them to blend easier. It's just like one of those tricks. A little trick of the trade, but honestly it looks really nice. Super easy to use. I wanna try this like really reddened brown in the Ciate palette. I'm just kinda curious, like it's a matte, but like can it, like what's the tea? You know what I mean? Like what's the tea? It looks pigmented on the brush, I'm impressed. So let's try this out. Oh wow, that's like shockingly pigmented. Come on Ciate, this is like, I feel like this is gonna be one of their like, their wins. Look at that, blending easily, it's super pigmented. <laughs> Okay, I see you, girl. I see you. We're just gonna kind of bring it all the way in. We're gonna do like a warm, 
a warm ass smoky eye. Why not? Why not? It's January. Let's start off the year strong with the copper eye nude lip. Look at that. Isn't that really pretty? Like that's honestly really, it's like very fiery and nice. And it's much more pigmented than I was expecting because honestly, like I said, Seattle has some hits and they have some flops. Like they just do. This one's cute. Like it's not bad. I'm gonna take a little bit of this warm like maroon from the Ofra palette and kind of mix that in there as well. Just kind of gave me some more dimension. Little fiery moment right here. A little fire. Come on Katniss Everdeen, the girl on fire. Well, I'm the queer on fire. I'm impressed with both of the palettes so far. More than I was expecting. Like, I love when you go into something and it's like, mm, it's not gonna be very good, but then you're pleasantly surprised and you're like, oh my gosh, my low expectations work. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's like a deeper brown. And we're just gonna add some dimension now. I'm just gonna see how this layers, layers nicely. It's not as pigmented, but obviously there's a lot of powders down there already. So you'd have to just kind of pack on a little bit more than you would think. What should we take on the lid, you guys? What should we take? <laughs> I think this shade here is just speaking to me. This stunning, like, I can't even describe it. It's like a nude gold. Okay, that's cute. It's not translating as intense on the lid as I would have hoped it would. For some reason, like, it's not translating as bold as I would think it would. Like, like this. Like to me, I'm sorry, this and this are not the same. So it's not the same on your lid as it is on your finger. A little deception, just a hair. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit on a brush and then wet the brush and see what we think of that. Saturating the brush, my little Lunar Beauty brush. <laughs> and then we're gonna put that on top and just gonna see what it does. And it definitely, definitely obviously intensifies the shade so much more. I should've just done that from the beginning. Now we know that we need to saturate the brush, wet it a bit or add a couple layers because it's not gonna be the same effect on your finger. Because honestly the product stuck to my finger, you know what I mean? Okay guys, I'm gonna do, on the inner corner, let's do a little pop on the inner corner, you know what I'm trying? Let's take this shade here, boom, boom, on the inner corner and just kind of brighten up the look. It's not as bright as I wanted it to be, it's a little pinky, huh? Not necessarily bright. Let's take a little bit of the highlighter from Ofra on top of it maybe. That's better. Cute, I mean, that's cute. Honestly, it's fucking cute, okay? I'm gonna curl my lashes and let's put the mascara to the test. You guys, why is it so hard for me to find a man? That's the real question. Why is it so fucking hard to find a man? Okay, I'm gonna put this on. Oh, there's some fallout, by the way. Wow, okay, and that was from the, the shimmer on the lid. Let's try this mascara, the Fenty mascara. That's cute, I mean, honestly, it's like nice. It's not bad, not bad at all. Let's let that dry a little bit and do another layer. Honestly, I'm liking this, by the way. I'm enjoying this mascara. I think it's really pretty. Like, I'm happy that this is in the box. Like, on, and honestly, mascaras, like, people go through mascaras a lot. Like, often. Like, they go through them quickly. And so it's kind of nice to have a product that people go through kind of fast in the box. And it's like, okay, cool. I have a backup for mascara for something. You know what I mean? I think it's really kind of great. So go BoxyCharm. I love when they put mascaras in there, to be honest. Okay, so I'm gonna go finish the other eye off camera. And I'll be back to tell you guys what we think of the boxes and which box won. Ah, I like hurt my wrist when I did that. What the fuck? I flung it too hard. My queer wrist just went eh, way too hard. <laughs> okay, so we're officially done. I have just the mascara on. What do we think? I literally never just wear mascara. I always do lashes, but I've been trying to like do it more. I just feel like my lashes suck. I do. I just feel they suck. There's nothing I can do to make them pretty. But let's get back to the video. What do we think? Let's go ahead and go through the two boxes and see which box is worth it. Two cards here. Let's fucking do it, man. We got our base and we got our premium books. Okay, so first product in the regular box is the Ciate London palette. It's, honestly, I thought it was it was better than I expected. It truly, truly was. I feel like I got a really, really, really gorgeous color payoff. Had to wet the shimmer a little bit to get more of a payoff on the lid, but I feel like the mattes were actually pretty decent. Like they were pretty freaking good. So that's $30 plus the Pharmacy BHA Pore Cleansing Toner. So excited to try that out. Cannot wait. 28 plus the 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer by Pure. That's $35. Honestly, I was really impressed with the moisturizer, the Tinted Moisturizer. At first I was scared. Bitch, I was scared. I said, oh my God, I will be Casper. The ghosts, not even friendly either. No, but I, I was a little, I was a little nervous about that one. But I feel like it blended into the skin super nicely. It gave me a really gorgeous like glow to the skin, and gave me like a hint of coverage, barely any. But I felt like it was gorgeous as like a primer, and I feel like my face looks really sickening as like that as my base. You know what I mean? We have the botanicals glow up lip mask. I'm excited to try it out more. It felt really nice when I put it on the lips. It felt really nice. That's $25, but I have to use it more. And then last but not least, we have the Bali Balm. That guy retails for $33, which I do think that's a little high. Um, I haven't tried it yet. It's just a coconut lip balm, but I just can't imagine why it would be $33 for a coconut lip balm. You know what I mean? But all together that retails for $151 and you're getting it for $25. Bucks. So truly, honestly, truly iconic. Like honestly, it's really, really, really worth it. So yeah, that's a that's a good one. So that's $151 for the base. Now let's go over the premium mix. So the premium gloss, we have the Summer Friday Jet Like Mask. I 
I can't get over the, the, the Summer Fridays mask. Like, honestly, that's really sticking that came in the box. I'm literally gonna use it tonight. Like, I'm <laughs> gonna use it tonight. It's like literally, mm, can't wait. Uh, that's $48 plus the Ofra Good 2 Mini Mix Palette. Honestly, I was more impressed than I thought I was gonna be with the Mini Mix Palette from Ofra. I was like, oh wow. Like, the shimmers performed gorgeously. The maps performed really, really nicely. The highlighter was literally stunning. I was like, okay, you know what? <laughs> You know what, Ofra? Come on now. Plus the Fenty Pro Filter Powder. Bitch, that is everything. The box is worth it just for the fucking powder. Like, so good. That was $32. Um, and then we have the skincare, the jelly oil cleanser. I'll be using that tonight. I'm excited. And then we have the full volume mascara. That's $24. And I thought the mascara looked really pretty. Like, it's a little bit, you know, intense. As you can see from the sides. Like, my lashes just suck. Like, they just go straight down. But I really did think that it was pretty freaking nice for a mascara. Like, I thought it was pretty great. Plus, last but not least, we have the PMD Beauty Silver Removing Cloth. Silver. I mean, I'm silver. So this guy retails for 205. So it's basically another, what, $60 value for an extra 35 bucks. Honestly, I think it's great. For me, of the two boxes, I think premium did it for me. Like, I feel like premium really was that bitch. Premium really was that bitch for me this month of January. It just, mmm. Ooh, it just hit different, you know what I'm saying? All in all, both boxes, they were really, really good. I'm gonna leave a link down below if you guys wanna sign up for Box Charm, or at least check out the site, see what you think, just like kind of dilly-dally all you. Dilly Dally Ollie, what the fuck? Dilly Dally on the site. Who the fuck says Dilly Dally? Stop. If you guys want to see the site and just kind of check it out, please click the link. I would really, really appreciate it. But yeah, that's what today's video was. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I love doing the box charm videos because they're honestly really just chill. I like to just sit down and play with makeup and like let you guys know what I think about the products in the boxes. And this is what I think. Hopefully you guys had fun watching it. I think I look really pretty. My skin looks stunning, I think. Fine. <laughs> anyway, let me stop, Um, you know, making out with myself, and I'm gonna get going. I love you guys so fucking much. Have a great the night or day wherever you guys are, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you. Mwah. What the fuck was that? Mm. I feel like I'm smoking a joint.